The gallery element essentially allows you to bring many photos together into a very nice cohesive layout. This element is a pro element. So for this, you will need the pro version of Brizzy to work along. In front of me, I have a gallery that I have created, and there are essentially three benefits of using the gallery element instead of using the image element, because you can achieve this with just the single image element. The first benefit is that it actually gives you more control and quicker control to arrange the images in the layout that you want. The second is that you have one cohesive element, which means that if you need to drag it around or copy it, it's very easy to do so. But I think the biggest benefit of the gallery element is that it can be turned into a light box. And as you see, I hover with my cursor over these images. We have the little clickable hand. And if I click on it, it opens the light box to display the various images within this gallery. So let's go have a look at where you get the gallery element and then how do you work with the gallery element? I'm going to edit the page with Brizzy, scroll down to the bottom, and then we say add a new block. Add a blank block, and then let's delete one of these columns so we have more real estate to work with. Delete, and then go to add elements, click on the plus, and the gallery, when you have pro, will be over here. The gallery is one of two pro elements at this moment, gallery and carousel. Click and drag gallery and drop it. By default, it comes in with two image placeholders. And the gallery is a little bit like the beast master on Netflix. If you don't tame it, it's going to get the better of you. Making columns and deciding on the different dimensions for all the images within the columns can be a daunting task. Let's start with a suggested workflow for the gallery element. And that would be first decide how many columns do you want? So let's say in this case, I'm going to go for three. We make a little bit different gallery than the one I've made up here. To access the options for the gallery element, you go up here to this little chiffron that's pointing upwards, and you will also see the dotted gray bounding box for the element. Click here, and you will see the options up here, and go to the one that says gallery. Click on that. And here we start with our first option, then how many columns do we want? And we put it on three. We have three columns now, but we only have two images because we haven't put in more images. Now, these images aren't image elements. They are connected to the gallery. So to bring in more images, you click on either of these two images. The advice would be click on the last one. So we click on this one, and all you need to do is duplicate it. Once you've duplicated it, you will have three images. Now comes the next one. How many images do you want stacked on top of each other in each column? Let's say I want to have three on the left, two in the middle, and three on the right. Okay, so think now carefully. This means two additional ones here, one more here, and two more here. In total, five. Don't look at what happens on screen. Just add five more. One, two, three, four five and this is how it will look now and here comes the tricky part choose the row first that you know has only two images remember we want three here we want two here and we want three here style from top to the bottom because this one only will have two images look at what will happen the moment i drag this one out it pushes this image into the other column by doing it this way this element will not get the better of you, and you will make child's play out of it. Click on this element, drag the handle up to the shape you want. I can also play around with these. Then reduce this one. And I'm going to leave it like that. I want to stress it, do not bring your images in before you have your grid and your layout ready. You bring the images in, you're going to place them strategically, and then when you start making changes, the images may start jumping around, and it's going to frustrate you. Get your layout ready, and then bring in the images. Now, that is as simple as clicking on the image, selecting it, and then from your media library, you bring in the various images that you want to use. 
Let me go through that and add these guys very quickly so that we have a few images that we can work with and that we have a nice gallery. And there we go. And you have a focus selector as well that you can use if you need to place the focus more precisely within your images. For example, this one, you may want to move the guy a little bit to the right or more inner, depending on what direction you're working with. And then last one, click on the image and there we go. As easy as that. Let's do the rest of the styling for this gallery element. Go back to the settings of the element, click up here, click on the gallery, and then you have spacing. This will apply the gap spacing between the images. So I like a little bit bigger when I work with something like this. And then you just have to check because of that, you have a little bit more space here at this one. So you have to drag it a little bit more to align them because I care about each and every pixel. Let's go back to the settings. And then the final one that we want to do here is to activate it in a light box. You just click on yes. You've got the normal other settings as well, like padding and margins and you've got entrance animations as well as that index. All of those are available. So let's update this control command S on a keyboard or you click here on update in the bottom right hand corner and then on the preview icon to see how this will display on the front end. This is the one that I had made beforehand and this is the one we had just made in a jiffy. Again, if you click on it, you get the light box. Last thing you have to take note of is responsiveness on tablets and mobiles. Because this is one element, you do not have individual control on visibility for the various image elements within this gallery. If I go over to tablet, you will see that when you click on any of these images, you have the ability to change the focus spot or the zoom, as well as even the shadow but you do not have the ability to disable the view on the tablet device. The same is for the mobile. This means, and take note of it, that if you have a gallery that exists out of 110 images, you are going to have 110 images display on your mobile device. They are going to be there. You only have the option to disable the entire element if you do not want it to display on a specific device. So do keep that in mind that if you are working with a lot of images, it could become bothersome for somebody who access your site on a mobile device. For more tutorials on all the elements within the Brizzy Free and Pro Builder, join us here on YouTube. Also go to the Facebook community and visit us at brizzy.io.